Hi there, I'm Lena, also known as Star Knits. I just wanted to walk you through some of the bags that I make and how I use them and the prices on them. So first we're gonna start out with my newest bag, which is my bento bag. They are $21, they're 11 inches high and they have a four by 9.25 inch bottom. It's hard to read backwards. So you can use them for your one skein projects and you can tie them like this and throw them in another bag for easy carrying uh, around with you. They fit just in there. So this is a perfect size for one skein. So I have in this one, I have a pair of socks that I'm knitting and I knit socks two at a time from both ends of the yarn ball. So I have my socks, my yarn ball, I have a cable needle, I have a crochet hook, and I have my pattern in here. And that all fits in this small little bento bag that is my newest addition to my lineup of, of bags that I offer. Um, you won't see them online because they're that new. I have them in on my online shows, my live shows on Facebook. Um, so you could snag one at one of my live shows. So that's my bento bag. The next bag that I have um, is my medium whip. So for those of you that don't like zippers, these are perfect for you. They, they are $24. They're 9.25 inches high and they have a four by four and a half inch squared bottom. So you can see it sits up there. But also um, they have a gross grain ribbon tie and a plastic toggle stopper. And there is a key ring so you can hook it to your purse or backpack or you can hook your scissors or stitch markers on there. Um, for easy taking it with you. You can also put a key fob on there to hold it and carry it on your hand. Um, these are the perfect size for socks as well. I have in this one, I have a pair of socks. Again, I knit two at a time. This one is sport weight. Um, so I have two small skeins and then there's a pocket on the inside you can see. And so I have um, a knit kit and a measuring tape inside mine um, but I know a lot of people because there is only one pocket in here that use it to separate their yarn balls when they're knitting from them so you could do it it does not go the pocket doesn't go all the way down to the bottom but people um, still use it from that way so it all fits in there and drawstrings close So that's my medium whip. The next item I have is my sock box, which I specifically made for socks. And a lot of people looking at them, because it's such a cute little cube, doesn't think that the socks will fit in there. So they are $27. They're four and a half to five inches cubed. So they also have a key ring tab that you can hook to your belt loop with a carabiner or to your backpack so you always have it with you. Um, and they zip, the handle here is easy for carrying if you wanted to knit and walk. So they do really hold enough for your socks, which I knit my socks two at, two at a time on two circulars from both ends of the yarn. And so there you have that. And I also have in there lotion, like the things you need uh, thing, uh, measuring tape and a knit kit you can put in there too. And it all fits inside. So that's a sock, a skein of sock yarn with two socks, two circular needles all fit in there and there's still room inside. And then you can carry it around. The next item I have is my triangle. It's also $27. 
they sit really nicely on the table for knitting. They're my one skein project, so you could do a hat or I have socks in this one. Um, they're nine and a half, nine point two five inches across the front, nine inches up the zipper, and about ten inches to the back. So there's a lot of room in there. So you could do a hat, you could do a baby sweater. So I have the socks, which these ones are almost done, the yarn, the pattern, and all kinds of things in there. And you can just fit it in and zip it up easily to close it. So they have handles for carrying and, and also a key ring tab so you could use a carabiner to um, hook it onto your backpack or purse or your belt loop or what you can hook your keys on there if you're going to use it other than for knitting all kinds of things the next item i have so i'm going smallest to largest is my yarnlet basket which it's 24 dollars. it's seven to seven and a half inches high and four and a half inch squared bottom so i like to use my baskets with my spinning wheel for spinning and the like but you a lot of people use them as yarn bowls but I have in here I you I have some Rolex in here I have my mini turtle made spindle and I also have a turtle cop in here that I'm gonna apply together with the this one to make a nice little skein of yarn whenever I finish it so they are perfect they're made of a heavy-duty canvas and they're fully interfaced so they stand up on their own um, and then I have handles sometimes the handles will be on the side and sometimes they'll be on them in the middle so those are my yarnlet baskets the next item I have is my bucket I also made this for spinning um, but I have had a lot of people tell me that they use it as yarn bowl so they're seven to seven and a half inches high and they have a four and a half inch squared bottom and the handle snaps two ways. So the handle snaps like this, like a bucket, and then you can take it off and also snap it this way. And you see I have a spindle in there and a full four ounce skein of roving, but uh, also a skein of yarn would fit in there and your socks and in the cotton ones, there are two pockets on the inside. So you can put all your little stuff in there. I use it on my spinning wheel and hang it over, over it so that you can put your tools in there, um, the, the fiber that you're working with. And um, like I have my note cards in there for keeping track of when I'm spinning and stuff like that. So like you can use it that way. But I know a lot of people who use it as a yarn bowl that doesn't break. And um, I also have another version of my buckets that does not have pockets and it has a sateen inside. And um, that's so that the fiber doesn't catch. And this one is a lot of people use it on their wheels for that. So that they can put all their like yarn balls if they've prepped their fiber and it won't catch the fiber on the cotton. So after the buckets I have my small baskets which are just a little bit bigger than my yarnlet baskets. They are eight and a half inches high um, and five by five and a half inch bottom. So you can see it's bigger than the other one. It has I also have a spindle in this one, but I have two braids of four ounces fiber inside of it. So it fits two of them. And they're just also made of canvas and interfaced. And they are perfect for um, sitting by your wheel, working on your stuff, but you can also use it as a yarn bowl. Um, and like the handles, you can see the handles are on the middle of this one instead of the sides. Next I have um my whips which this is my regular whip and this one has two pockets inside it's 11 inches high 
and it is four and a half inches squared at the bottom. And you can see I have, you can fit a lot in here. You could probably put two skeins in this one. So let me show you what I have in here. I have a gnome that I'm knitting and then I have needles and I have four mini skeins of yarn that I'm using. This is sock yarn that I'm using, like leftover sock yarn. But you could fit two full skeins of yarn plus your project in there. And, um, oh, let me get these out so I can show you. It also has pockets on the inside. So you can put all your stuff, like I had my needles in, in there for safekeeping. So you can like separate it out. So that is my work in progress bag. And it is perfect for clipping onto your backpack and carrying around with you. Um, or you could connect a key fob to this one as well and um, carry it around on your arm. The next two project um, bag, two skein project bag I have is my box bag. Now normally they're $33. Um, and they're four and a half to five inches high, eight to eight and a half inches long, and four to four and a half inches wide. So normally they're $33, but this this print that I have is one that is I can um, redo. It's a print that I had specifically printed. I printed it, I spun the yarn and knit it, and then took a picture and had it printed on fabric. Um, so I can make most of my bags with this fabric, if you would like this print, it costs a little bit more. It's $40 instead of 33, but that's because it's um, specifically printed. Um, and it's not just regular fabric that I've bought. So anyways, um, this is my two skein project. It's my go-to project bag, I think this and the whip. So it holds your project. And if you can see two skeins sit side by side. And it's perfect for, um, I have a shawl in there right now. It's perfect for two, um, like a shawl or um, color work. And you can see that the project fits inside. And I have a knit kit in here too. Or I did, I might have put it in another bag. Um, so you have all your stuff uh, with you and it fits it all. And then you just zip it up and you can carry it around with the handle or hook it with a carabiner to your bag. And um, like I said, it's my go-to size. And next, another item that I have, which I do, do not have listed um, in my Etsy store, is my small rope bowl. They're $20, they're four, and a half, four to five inches high and nine to 10 inches in diameter. So each of these rope bowls that I make are, are one of a kind and I don't list them in Etsy because um, they are heavy enough that they require um, priority shipping um, and everything that I have listed in Etsy requires first class shipping and it's free to you so when you buy the rope bowls usually you can get them on my live shows or you can request a special um, order um, so you can see I'm using it as like a yarn bowl um, and it has just a uh, a scarf in there but um, you can also use it for fiber um, you can use it on your table to hold fruit anything the next item bag that I make that is really popular is my pocket bag Let's see if I can find it they are $46 there are two pockets on the inside and a clear pocket on the outside um, they are 13 inches across the zipper nine and a half to 10 inches high with an eight by five, um, eight and a half inch by 4.75 inch bottom. So you can see it's sitting up nice and gusset tall. And this is like my three skein project. So you can see I have stuff in here that you would need. Um, originally I made this so you could just stick your phone down in there when you're at knitting night. But I have had people tell me they put their pattern in there. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So you can see I have a sweater that I'm crocheting um, for myself. So I have two skeins in there. 
And then I have, like, in the pockets, I have, like, a pen and notepad, um, a headlight for when you're knitting in the car or at night, um, all kinds of stuff. So it fits all that perfectly easily inside and then zips up and it's perfect. And I have two key ring tabs on here um, and a handle for easy carrying. So you could always get a duffel bag um, strap and hook it to this and carry it over your shoulder. I don't make them, but you could always add that. The next item I have is my basket, which I use for spinning mostly, but I know a lot of people use them for yarn. Um, they are eight and a half inches high and nine by six and a half inch bottom. And they, these are the canvas ones that I make. Um, you can see I have fiber in there. Um, and a book, like a book fits on there nice in there nicely. And, um, usually when I'm spinning, I just have all my fiber in there that I'm spinning from and, um, it carries around really nicely. And if you don't have cats or dogs that'll get into your um, projects, you could put your knitting or crochet in there as well. So those are my baskets. The next item I have is my large rope bowl. So it's $40 and it's six to seven inches high with an 11, and a half, 11 to 12 inch diameter. So you can just see, I just have stuff in here. So I have some, some yarn and um, a bobbin and fiber, but um, I use this, I have one upstairs and I use it for the project I'm working on. So I have it sitting next to my chair and I just throw everything in there. And they are, the large ones have handles where the small ones do not. And you can see the difference between the two. But again, this is an item that is heavier, so it's not listed online. You can catch it in my online, um, you can catch it on my online shows, uh, my live shows. So the next project bag that I have is my extra large pocket. They are 12 inches high and nine and a half by four and a half inches across the bottom. So this, I have a sweater vest that I'm knitting for my husband, who's pretty tall. And I have the part that I'm working on, the pattern, the back of the sweater in here and an extra skein of the yarn inside this um, thing because I'm almost at the end of my project. So it has two pockets on the inside and I also have a knit kit. That's where my knit kit went. Some needles, another headlamp because it's dark yarn and the buttons that I'm going to use for this project. So um, this is a good sweater size project. Um, project bag you can fit a good amount of yarn and fiber in here and your project as you can see I'm like loading it back in and then it zips up and again it has the two key ring tabs if you wanted to make it a crossbody bag but I don't make them crossbody um, it does have a handle that you can carry so there's that the next item I have so I said that's a good size for sweaters now, if you are an extra fluffy person like myself, your sweaters won't fit in that extra large pocket. So I started making the wide extra large pocket. So it's 12 and a half inches high, 17 and a half inches across the zipper and a 14 and a half by 4.5 bottom. So I have a sweater for myself and this one, plus all the yarn, a sweater that I'm knitting plus all the yarn and all the added stuff in the pockets. You can see that there's pockets in there, um, skeins of yarn. I haven't like wound them yet, um, but they're, cause I don't like to wind it until I use it. So that fits a sweater for my size, which is not small. So you could also fit an Afghan in there. Again, it's like the other pockets. There's two key ring tabs and a handle. So, um, it's a pretty fun size 
for your bigger projects or if you wanted to put all your projects in like if you're going on a trip um, that would be a perfect size of bag to take with you the next project bag I have is my extra large basket so that is a newer size that I have people were wanting something a little bit bigger than my basket so it's nine and a half by ten inches high with a ten and a half by six and a half inch bottom so you can see it's taller than my basket let me find it and um, just bigger extra large so this one also fits all kinds of things so I have a book in there I have two four ounce braids of fiber a big eight ounce um, hand spun in there and there's still room in here if you see there's still room to put more in so this would, is perfect for sitting by your wheel to hold all of your items or um, it's perfect for like your blanket that you're knitting you can just leave all your stuff in there and leave it on the um, sorry I have thread of from sewing everywhere um, if you're knitting and it can just sit on your coffee table and look just pretty um, with your fiber in there or your yard in there so that is my extra large basket the last Oh, no, not the last. Another project bag I have is my tall basket, which is 12 inches high um, with a nine by six and a half inch bottom. So I'm going to show you the difference between the two baskets. So this one's a little bit shorter and wider, um, but this one's taller. So I have in here, I have two, three four ounce skeins of thing, a book, and there's still room in there. So these ones are the biggest, most roomiest ones I have. And um, they have handles for carrying. And again, they're the canvas and they, um, some of them, the ones that I make, I find um, outdoor canvas and they are um, by outdoor canvas is like weather resistant it's not weather proof but it would be like mildew resistant and all that sorry I just kind of lost my train of thought um, the last project bag I have is my backpack they are 13 inches high with a seven and seven by six and a half inch bottom and there's a zippered pocket on the inside so these are perfect for everything so I didn't put anything in this one. So you can see these are made of upholstery vinyl on the outside and the canvas on the inside. So they are definitely pretty waterproof. I have a key ring on the side. So if you wanted to hook things to it and then the zipper pocket, you can fit your wallet or your keys and your phone in there. If you're going on a hike, I know people who've used it and you can put books in there see let me just show you what you can put in there so I have one two so you can put I have three books in there still and it goes over your shoulder you can put it over your shoulder like this and carry it like this or you could use it the regular way as a backpack and carry it like that and it's pretty comfortable you can also oops, throw in so I have three books in there so remember my bento bag let's just tie this one up snap it closed throw it in there there's still room so let's throw my box bag in there and see there's still a little bit of room so let's move this so there's still room in there so let's see we'll throw my medium work in progress bag in there so I have three project bags in there 
three books in there and I can still carry it around. Pretty cool. So that's my backpack. Those are most of my project bags. I do have other items that um, I will show that I will have listed in my Etsy store. Um, and if you ever are able to come to a live show, um, like an in-person show, when we can do in-person sh shows again, I think you would really like the little things that I have, like the key fobs or the coin purses, um, all kinds of things. I also have stitch markers, uh, crochet hooks. So just check out my Etsy store or check out my Facebook page, which is facebook.com backslash starnets. Or you can check out my Etsy store, um, which is, um, you can get to by going to my website, which is www.starnets.net. Thanks for joining me. And I, if you have any questions, just send me a message.